Today we're going to be looking at paddling shorts. If you're looking to buy some paddling shorts for kayaking this summer, then this video is going to help you decide which style of short is going to be right for you. So for this video, I've chosen three different paddling shorts from the range at canterburykayaking.co.nz. Once we understand these three types of shorts, I think you're going to understand everything you need to know to make your decision. So first up, we have the standard classic board short. Although these are a little bit special. These are from a brand Dua Stone. I don't sell these, but these are the pair that I use and basically any pair of surfing board shorts will do. To the crew at uh, Dua Stone, uh, if you wanna hook up and sell some shorts through Canterbury Kayaking, I'd love to hear from you, uh, cause I love these. Then we have the neoprene short. For this video, I've got the Razdex version, which I'll link to in the video description below. We also have some longer board shorts that actually have a liner on the inside. So these ones have a fleece liner and they are called the Palm Horizon Shorts and I'll link to those as well. So we're going to look at four things that are going to help you decide on which short is right for you. We're going to look at the warmth both when wet or when dry. We're also going to look at comfort in the boat. We're also going to look at comfort out of the boat. And then lastly we're going to look at swimmability how nice they are to swim in when things go wrong or you're performing a rescue. So first let's talk about warmth. Now the warmest when dry is going to be the fleece line paddling short. The fleece inner on the inside is going to trap air and be really insulating when it's dry. If these shorts get completely soaked however they are not going to be as warm. That's when you want to look at the classic neoprene short. When this is submerged in water, it's going to create a thin film of water in between the short and your skin and that's what's going to provide you the insulation, much like a surfing wetsuit does. So if you're going to be in the water a lot, then definitely go for the neoprene. If you are expecting to be dry or just a little bit damp, then the warmer option is actually going to be the fleece. The coolest option, both when dry and when wet, is going to be the classic board short. So if it's really, really hot and the water's warm, you could definitely get away with the classic board short and be just fine. Also, if you're hiking to the river with your boat on your shoulder for a while, then both of these options can get quite hot and sweaty. So um, that's when I like to use just the lightweight board short if I know I'm going to be out of the boat for a lot of my day. So we're going to talk about comfort in the boat. Definitely the most comfortable in the boat is going to be the neoprene short. This one provides padding all the way around. There's no chance of bunching or like the fabric folding on itself, which is totally possible with the two like looser board short options. So most comfortable in the boat, that is going to be the neoprene short. For comfort out of the boat, at the put-in, at the takeout, portaging, scouting a rapid, things like that, this guy here is gonna be more comfortable on the bank. The outer fabric is windproof. It's going to give you a lot of coverage right down over the knee so that cold wind isn't going to cut through. When you're walking around, the soft inner lining is going to be way more comfortable for cruising around when the short is, is dry. Neoprene on the other hand, when the neoprene is dry, it's going to get kind of sticky and kind of sweaty. This one works better in the water or in the boat, but standing around at the put-in is not quite as comfortable. It's a little bit funky in terms of how they look too. I personally think they look great on women, but on guys it doesn't do it for me. Maybe uh, ladies, you can comment if you think guys look good in these. Personally, I don't. So it's all about function for those ones. Probably most comfortable um, on a hot day is going to be your classic board shorts, which you can hike in, go to the river, drive home in, stop at the pub on the way home. Very comfortable indeed. For swimmability, the award for best type of short for swimming in is going to go to the neoprene tight fitting short. This one is great for swimming in because it's not baggy at all. So it's not going to create any extra drag in the water. You're going to be able to move your legs freely for kicking. It's not going to snag on anything. And the neoprene itself is actually buoyant. So it's actually going to give you a little bit of a buoyancy lift. If you're really uncomfortable in the water or in the river, then you want the easiest thing to swim in. This is going to be it. Shorts like this with two layers, it's going to drag a little bit in the water. If you're really needing to swim for your life, then uh, these are going to slow you down a little bit potentially. And the board shorts are going to be just fine for swimming in like you would have done at the beach, I'm sure. So which shorts are right for your type of kayaking? The double layer shell with the fleece lining 
is usually bought by whitewater kayakers or sea kayakers who paddle in kind of the in-between season when it's not super, super hot, but you still want a bit of extra warmth or you do take a dip in the water, you're still protected with that thermal fleece layer underneath. For multi-sport paddlers, then this is usually the go-to option. Multi-sport paddling, especially racing, is all about function and not so much about style. You want something that's very, very comfortable, warm if you end up in the cold Waimakariri River or most of those braided rivers are gonna be glacial, so they are cold. You need to protect yourself from hypothermia, but you don't wanna wear a full leg. These are gonna be great. You might not race in these if it's like hot February conditions in New Zealand, but definitely training. These are gonna be awesome, especially for padding that hard multi-sport seat. The board short, great for anyone in warm conditions. If you're a recreational paddler, sea kayaking, these are great because you don't need to change when you get to your campsite. You can just keep these on. Whitewater kayakers in summer, particularly in the North Island of New Zealand, wear these. So I hope that's really helped with your decision making on which paddling short you should buy. Both of these options are gonna be linked down below. You can check out the full range of paddling shorts where you can buy online from canterburykayaking.co.nz. There are a couple of other ones I want you to check out on there. There are the Kokatat version of these, which are a little bit longer in the lower leg. So if you're a little bit taller, then perhaps that's a better one to go for, whereas these are a little bit shorter. Also, there's the Sweet Shambhala short. I'll put a link to those as well. They are similar style to this, but instead of a fleece lining, they have a neoprene lining. So you get kind of the best of both worlds, and they can be a really great option depending on what you're doing. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video with your friends. I'm Sam from Canterbury Kayaking, wishing you good lines this summer.